Welcome back everyone. Welcome to another video by Crypto Gibby. I would like to first wish everybody a happy new year. It's now the year of 2024. And I hope everyone have as much success as I plan on having, if not even more. Um, I just said um again at the beginning of the video, but oh well. So, beginning of this is going to be a little personal for me. So this year is, this is going to be the first year that I can actually ever remember in my life. That it felt like I'm going to actually be in control and to achieve the goals that I'm going to set forth in my life. And in all chase, it's all because of a mindset shift within my life. I don't want to get too deep into it, but let's just say I've always had the tools to do certain things, to accomplish stuff. But the implementation was always just off. And it goes back into a lot with the, in the crypto space as well. So that's part of the reason now why I am making a concerted effort to upload a video every day of the week, if I can, if possible. This video, I was tending to be kind of short, but, you know, it's, I said that for the last two videos, I believe, but it ended up being almost 20 minutes, I think, or if not, if not more. But that's what I just want to let you all who watch this video. You can get things done if you're willing to change the way you approach your life in your mindset on certain things. Have my mindset completely changed? I haven't did a complete shift, but I do notice a difference within my go-getterness. <laughs> Not really a word, but you know, I'm starting to become more of a go-getter. I can't sit around and wait for things to come. I got to go out there and get it. And that's the, that's the difference between a lot of these people in the crypto space, people who's not in the crypto space, who are wildly successful. A lot of them are go-getters. And that's what I plan to become. <laughs> um, there go another um again. So just a little bit more so. Before I started this video, I was just going to cop on and talk about a couple things. But as I was about to record, I just wrote down one little, one little thing in my notes. But then it turned into a whole outline. And that's the main thing I want to talk about is planning. I knew I was going to end up planning eventually, but this just happened on the fly. As you mentioned, as, not as you mentioned, but as I mentioned in a few videos ago, I said that, you know, I'll probably still be doing things in a little bit of order. And this is the start of it. So, you know, then I'm going to start doing more social media, sharing the videos, talk about, because you don't want to talk about other things on this channel, financial things that help earn income other than cryptocurrency. Um. Uh, they're all kind of aligned and they, eventually they can all, it gets you more cryptocurrency, but you know, passive income, little side gigs, but mostly want to focus on cryptocurrency. Like within a couple of days, a couple of days or a couple of videos from now, I'm going to present a couple of passive income that, uh, apps that I've been using to earn a little extra income. And I've been using that income to buy some cryptocurrencies as well. You know, talk about books and stuff that I plan on 
that I plan on reading. Now, I haven't read any of them now, but books that I plan on reading, especially financial books, cryptocurrency books. Just learning new stuff in the crypto space. Like just the other day, I actually re-educated myself and actually fully understood what the UTXO model in Bitcoin, how it's implemented. I had a general idea about what it was, but I didn't fully understand it until a couple of days ago. So that's some of the things I'm going to be doing. And I'll be sharing these little tidbits to people uh, who watch these videos. And hopefully you guys share these videos to other people so you can learn more as well. And as I mentioned before, you can also share a certain section of the video. Just share the timestamp of the video and you can send it to a person. They can pick up it right where you want them to watch the video at. I'll really appreciate it if you guys do that also. And like and subscribe and comment too. But, you know, that's about it for that. So let's actually go into the actual meat of the video here. So right now we're at two, I'm not 200, 110 days away from the halving. And this is April 21st, 2021. I probably need to start tracking these days and see if this changes each and every day. Because wasn't this 18th yesterday? I don't know. Okay, but we're... April time frame, later April for the halving. And as we know, it's going to be bonkers. Yep. All right, let's look at the markets a little bit today. I kind of went over them a little bit. I think I already had this is already refreshed. So right now, 24 hour period, Bitcoin is up 0.2, Ethereum down 0.3, BNB down 4. Solana 0.1, XRP 1.4, Cardano 1.4, chart, chart, let's see, Bitcoin, XRP, Cardano. I was trying to see if they follow the same chart pattern, and they, they are mostly. And if you guys, if you're going to be new here in the space, you will start to notice that cryptocurrency, a lot of them are going to end up following the same pattern. Well, let's see. Little staked. Let's set yesterday. It basically mirrors Ethereum because it is Ethereum. It's just Ethereum wrapped up in a nice, put a nice bow to it. Avalanche is down 3.6, but no, Avalanche didn't follow that pattern. It just went straight down just about. Oh, let's see. Doge is down 1.1. Pull it out 2.5. Tron. Nope. Well, Tron is up, but you know, I just don't trust Tron project. I don't. Not long term. I don't. It's. We'll probably get in and make some money short term, but long term, no. 0.4 down 0.4 from Polygon. Don't want to go to all of them. Oh, Shiba Inu. As I talked about Shiba, I still haven't done my research on them as of yet. Further research. But I did want to look at internet computers. They are basically 0%. Up or down. I don't know. But yeah, they had that nice run within 7 days of 38%. Anybody else had a run like that? Mm -hmm. Nope. I saw 22, and that's from Filecoin. But that's, they had a nice little run right there. People, I guarantee you, some people made some nice gains who held right here, and, a lot, and probably a lot of them sold when they got up here or close to it. So that's why you start to see the drop down right here, but it's starting to taper off, and it's probably go back up some possibly but you know enough of that let's go into the next thing ah uh, there go another ah oh well so as i said i i'm into crypto mining as well i do a little bit of crypto mining using unminable if you guys do not know there is a link a affiliate link in the video description you guys can use to download the software and to start mining on your own computers. 
Uh, make sure you use the affiliate link in the video. There's a affiliate link in the video description. So you click on it, you should get the code, and there's a the code from there. Also, you can copy and paste the code and put it into the software. I would really appreciate that if you guys do. So next up, this is what, so I seen this earlier today and I was like, oh, I'm going to check this out. So Celsius Network, uh, they basically went bankrupt. I had a little bit of holding in, into Celsius and I cannot access that, those funds right now. I did get some, actually, I actually got a correspondence from the, I guess the lawyers or the Celsius lawyer team saying something about what was it? It basically gave me a rundown of the my cryptocurrencies I had and I'll have to verify my identity and then I can get my funds off. But this is the thing. So Celsius mining decided to shift into Bitcoin mining. So they're shifting to Bitcoin mining. And I, when Celsius went down, I took it. That was my hiatus from crypto. So I really didn't know why they went down. But read this article, I really found out why. So the main thing is that, let's see. So Celsius was getting big around the COVID time frame, the 2021 time frame. Was it 2020 or 21? I forgot what year it was. And so they were getting kind of big. They, like I said, they had ambitions to uh, to earn fees for validating crypto transactions. But the SEC stepped in and said, nope, that's not going to happen. So because of that, they started losing a lot of revenue and they had to file for bankruptcy. So that's why a lot of customers' funds are now locked into Celsius and we cannot access them. But what happened is that, let's see. So they're not going to be doing crypto mining. And with the crypto money, they said more cryptocurrencies from Celsius will be returned to customers. And this part right here, customers will also receive equity shares in the new Bitcoin mining business. I'm interested in this part. But I wonder if there is a threshold with how much funds you had to have on Celsius in order to get equity. Because if that is true, they didn't mention anything about that in the email that I received a couple of days ago. So I'm going to be following up on that to see how that goes. I would like to have some equity in the mining business. Because I'm actually going to try to start my own mining business. I'm in the works of getting that started now. All right, but moving on to the next article here. This is just something I just ran across just to, I just read it. And I might as well just share with you all. So India is going to be blocking access to nine different crypto exchanges. Including Binance and Kraken. So this comes from India's Financial Intelligence Unit. And it says it's, a, it's an Indian government agency which scrutinized financial transactions. So the main thing is that they require, they require, these crypto exchanges are required to comply with India's anti-money laundering rules and cannot evade guidelines just because they don't have physical presence in the country. So the website's were basically being accessed by Indian citizens. The FIU don't like it, so they petitioned the government. We told the government, hey, we need you guys to literally block these websites on all Indian internet providers. And the reason why is because they are not, I guess, meeting the standards of the India's anti-money laundering, AML, and what is it? Counterfinancing of terrorism framework. No, 
is going to have a it's going to have an effect on the crypto market to a degree because India is the most populated nation in the world but at the same time a lot of their citizens don't have access to crypto so it is a very well populated place we don't have access but those people who do have access there were still a good number but CZ uh, Chang Peng Zhao who was the founder of Binance before he left Binance he did mention that Binance was not interested in, in, in entering India because he said that the was it the South Asian market basically was not has not created a crypto friendly environment so he really kind of knew that they wouldn't try to really get established in India but the Indian citizens were able to still access the websites and they're still going to be able to eventually somehow there's always ways if you really if you're if you're determined on the internet you can get access to it Uh, I think that's going to be it for the news. The personal share. But again, I do want to wish you all a happy new year. And I hope you all have a great success in 2024. And I hope to see you guys later on, months from now, in different videos. And if you're watching this video from months from now or any time, just leave a comment in the chat to say hi. First, say, hey, hey it's my first time here. And I'll love to chat with you guys. But, you know, my channel is going to evolve. I got a lot of stuff that I want to do. A lot of different topics in, in crypto. I'm not just going to do news. I want to do tutorials. A lot of stuff. But that's going to be it for today, guys. I do want to thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I am Crypto Gibby, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.